Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Uh, North Korea and Russia, uh, or at least uh, their military, um, are getting closer and closer. Uh, should that be a concern for the United States of America? No, because the United States of America is across the Pacific Ocean, so it has nothing to do with North Korea. It would be a normal answer, but an abnormal answer? Yes, 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 they are threatening uh, the neighborhood and that's exactly the US's neighborhood you know because it's right by um, Jap Japan and uh, South Korea and Taiwan um, what's going on here Shoigu the Russian defense ministry minister will visit North Korea mm -mm -mm. Uh, just to have a little celebration there here is the article coming from Ukrainska Pravda Shoigu and his entourage gather in North Korea to celebrate quote-unquote 70th anniversary of King Il-sung's victory, end quote. Remember, this is Ukrainska Pravda, and this is a title, Plea, uh, full of smear or uh, I don't know how you would call this, celebrate, victory, g -g 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 -g. so and then they wonder. Why? Because they didn't put up. Is that how you say it? I think so. That means you didn't allow them, uh, those guys, to you. This today, 25th of July 2023, a Russian delegation headed by Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu will visit North Korea from 25th to 27th July to quote unquote celebrate the 70th anniversary of the end of the Korean War. Kremlin aligned new news agency RIA Novosti reported. The Russian ministry claims that the visit will contribute to the strengthening of Russian and North Korean military ties. Mm, that's not concerning. And will be an important stage in the development of cooperation between Russia and North Korea. Interesting. Commemorative events dedicated to the 70th anniversary of the end of the Korean War will begin in North Korea on July 26. Shoigu will fly from Russia to Pyongyang and Li Hongzong, deputy chairman of the Standing Committee of the National People's Con Congress, will fly from China. Triumvirat, the three of them, right there. The, North, the, the Korean War was an armed conflict of 1950 to 1953 between North Korea and South Korea. The reason for the war was Kim Il-sung desire to take over the whole of Korea. But why was it uh, divided? They never start from the very beginning. <laughs> he just wanted. We have two Koreas. This guy wanted. Before the attack, he enlisted the support of the USSR and China. You can make shit up. See how these guys are reporting history. If you don't know anything about it, say, yeah, that guy won't take over. You want to take over? And uh, USSR and China are bad dudes. Well, if you know something about it, you know that uh, they were supposed to hold some elections, if you remember, weren't they? <laughs> uh, I think that was in uh, other uh, parts of the world. The Soviet military trained the North Korean army and before the invasion, King Il-sung asked for permission from Joseph Stalin and only after gaining his support did the North Korean army invade South Korea at 4.00 a.m. on 25th June 19. 50. Uh, why did he want to invade? The answer of these historians right here would be because they're bad dudes. Ah, and we are good dudes. Ah, makes me feel better. Okay, now go and vote for me. Uh, Kim Il-sung counted on the support of the population of South Korea and believed that they were waiting for, for his rule there. Okay, I'm not going to read this garbage anymore. Uh, the, US and the, the USA and Western countries supported South Korea. By 1953, the, the conflict has uh, ex uh, exhausted both sides. They don't tell us what happened. At the UN meeting, they voted for a ceasefire. The front line actually moved back to the previous uh, division along the 38th parallel. Uh, until now, the peace treaty that would formally end the, we the, the war has not been signed. So who pushed it back? Do you remember? Yeah, these guys pushed them back and then the Chinese military army was over there and they attacked the 
UN forces supposedly and they push them back over there say peace 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 we want uh, time out time out time out all right uh, just just some information extra information so anyway um, they go over there to celebrate uh, the victory and uh, discuss some military uh, um, how should I put it? not support because they're not going to get support from the North Korean but a little bit of an alliance a friendship and that certainly will concern uh, um, the governments in Japan and South Korea and I would say Taiwan as well but Taiwan is a um, how should I put it under the US's uh, dominance as the other two as well especially especially Japan Japan is just uh, I don't even want to consider it a independent country but supposedly it is as long as it uh, follow orders is allowed to uh, do certain things and they know uh, how far they can go the point here is the military Russian and the North Koreans are uh, making more and more contact as they did with the uh, um, Chinese which not good for the good people of uh, you know know what I'm talking about thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just.